Hey, what's up everybody? Freebooter here, and this is what I sold on eBay yesterday. So I'm about to ship all this stuff out. I actually had this stuff in boxes, but I just dumped it out just so you could see how cool it is. Um, let's go over the boring stuff first. So we got this compressor saver. I bought this for, I don't know, I, I bought a bunch of stuff from somebody and this was in the lot. So probably paid about a dollar, maybe two bucks for this. Sold it for two, uh, sold it for $35.00. It's a compressor saver, CSRU2. I don't even know what this thing is, really. So, got 35 bucks out of it, though, so sweet. Always pick up new stuff, even if you don't know what it is. Next, we got this really cool Gilded Drake from Urza's Saga. It's a Magic the Gathering card. Sold this for $35. Now, Magic the Gathering is actually the reason I got into hustling in the first place, or reselling, or whatever you want to call it. Um, I actually, my biggest flip ever was an Ancestral Recall from Beta, that I sold for a thousand dollars. That I I paid a uh, I paid forty dollars for it and then sold it for a thousand dollars, like ten fifteen years later when I was getting out of the game. I played this game for years. I was obsessed with it. I knew all the prices for everything. Anyways, Magic the Gathering. You can make some serious money in it. Next, we got this Suburbia original soundtrack recording. It's a cassette tape. It's from the movie Suburbia. Cassette tape. And it has some rare bands in it, or rare music that I don't think was reproduced on CD. I've also sold this band, TSOL, uh, True Sons of Liberty. I have sold some of their CDs, so keep an eye out for that band, and you may be able to make some money. Oh, I sold this for $25, free shipping. I've seen this sell for anywhere from $25 to $40, depending on the condition. And this is really cool right here. I like this a lot. It's a... Uh, Tomy Ocean Cup Race Champion with the actual Mercury motor. Now, it's kind of rare. Actually, it's really rare to find these two together because kids either lost the motor or they lost the boat. 1978. Tomy, made in Taiwan. Now, this motor actually still works. I'm not going to show it to you right now because I don't want to break it before I ship it to the people. These things are, you know, they're from the 70s and 80s and they just wear out. They've got like plastic gears and stuff inside there. So they wear out all the time. Yeah, I got uh, $25 plus shipping on this, and it's going to ship first class. So a really cool old vintage toy. Next, we got a bunch of Legos. Yay, Legos. I am terrible at selling Legos for some reason. I always get less than I think I should be able to get for them. So next time I sell Legos, I'm going to be much more careful. Like, I probably could have got 70 or not 70 I could have got $7.00 maybe ten dollars just for Chewbacca so I only got 40 bucks for all this stuff all this accessories and there's like 30 minifigures here I could have done way better out at the flea market actually you can get like two or three bucks a piece on minifigures out at the flea market yeah so I only got forty dollars on eBay I'm a little disappointed in myself actually tell me how good I could have done what do you think how much do you think all these Legos are worth we got uh, we got cowboys Indians we got horses for the Indians we got C-3PO. Next we got this super cool Dino, the dinosaur from the Flintstones. Now the first thing you'll notice about this guy is he's orange and in the cartoon he's purple. The reason he's orange is because he's from 1960, Hanna-Barbera. Back in the 60s or early 60s and late 50s, the uh, Flintstones was in black and white. They didn't even know what color this guy was yet. So if you see any Flintstones or any cartoon characters that are off color and they look old. So I sold Fred Flintstone with a red shirt instead of an orange shirt. I've sold um, Wilma with, I think she had like a, a green dress on. So keep your eye open for differently colored old cartoon toys. Really cool. I sold this guy for $45. If he was in better condition, I probably could have got like 60 bucks for him, but he's got like scratches. He's got a hole there. Uh, he's got, you know, he's pretty worn out. So if you could find this guy in a much better condition, you probably could get $60, $70 for him. Last, I sold this old utility, police utility belt with a bunch of accessories on it. This is called basket weave right here. Now, a lot of the time, these utility belts have gun holsters on them. Not this time. The, the holsters themselves actually go for more than the belt a lot of the time but just the amount of accessories if there wasn't the accessories on this thing the belt would probably be worth maybe 20 30 dollars because it is pretty worn out 
but with all the accessories on it, I sold this thing for $65. I paid $10 for it out here at the flea market, and then I eventually sold it for $65. Actually, I think it only took about three or four days after I finally got it posted. This was one of those things that I didn't post forever for some reason. It was just sitting there, and I should go over the brand name, huh? It's uh, Bianchi. Is a bunch of the accessories are Bianchi, and the belt itself says Bianchi. Where is this belt is Bianchi. Where's the name on the belt? Anyways, you're going to have to take my word for it because I don't remember where the name on the belt is. It is a Bianchi belt though. And that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. Freebooter out. Peace.